welcome back. So today I created this super cute daytime glamorous look. So this is a look that if I was going out somewhere during the day but still wanted to look presentable and like do more than minimal makeup, I feel like this is a really good option. I really love how it came out. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Starting off with a clean face and a very tanned body. I just got back from Florida. I am taking my Milk Makeup Blurring Stick. I've been really, really loving this. It really blurs out the skin and it kind of gets away any shine. And then taking the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation on my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush and just blending it into my skin. Next, picking up my NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. I'm just going to be putting it underneath my eyes and everywhere that I want to highlight and brighten up and bring forward, so all of the normal areas. And then I'm gonna kind of go off a little bit and use this Brow Conditioning Primer by Benefit. I've been loving this to kind of help prime my eyebrows and make them grow a little bit faster. And then just taking my Dampened Beauty Blender and blending out all the areas that I put the concealer into my face so it's nice and blended. And then I'll be picking up my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the color Light. You can hardly see what, what color it is. And my Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighting Brush to set all of the concealer. I love this brush for underneath my eyes. If you haven't picked it up, girl, you are missing out. It is so good. And then picking up my Makeup Forever HD powder in the brush that it comes with or the brush that they have with it. And I'm just setting the rest of my face very lightly. This powder does a great job. Then taking my MAC Studio Sculpt Powder in the color Dark with my Sigma F10 uh, Powder Blush Brush. And I'm just giving myself a little bit of bronze. I'm pretty bronze right now already, um, but I wanted to give the perimeter of my face a little bit of bronze to give my face some structure. Not doing any contouring, just kind of bronzing up the skin. And then taking my F77 Chisel and Trim Contour Brush to chisel out the sides of my nose to make my nose look teeny tiny and then doing my brows off camera kind of I'm using the benefit brow products I love these products and then going into my violet Voss palette this is the one with Laura Lee I'm just picking up the color Pris pot on my Sigma e40 blending brush and blending it all over my eyelid as a transition shade and then taking the color britches on my smaller e25 blending brush and just putting it into the crease and I am kind of flicking it outwards also like I would have tape then taking that darker shade still on my Sigma E25 brush and it's the color Alabama and I'm just basically doing the same thing and kind of carving out my crease without really giving like a cut crease because I don't want it to be too too heavy just I want it to be very very light and then just putting it deeply into the crease and still flicking it outwards you can see I'm not bringing it down to the outer corner I'm kind of flicking it out towards the end of my brow then taking the color sugar on my Sigma E I don't know which brush this is I'm sorry I think it's the E20 the short shader brush and I'm just picking up that and then taking the golden shade in the palette I missed what it said and I'm just putting this right underneath my lower lash line to just brighten up the look a little bit with some shimmery gold and then taking the color basic once again on my Sigma E20 short shader brush and just putting that white shade on my brow bone and in my inner tear duct area Next, going in with mascara, I'm picking up my Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. I always go back to this one just because I love it so much. I definitely need a new one though. Mine is probably on its last leg. And then for lashes, I'm picking up my Hypnoti Lashes in Addiction. Y'all know these are my faves. And then for blush, I'm taking my Hourglass Dim Infusion bl Brush on my Sigma F. 40 large angle contour brush and my Bobbi Brown highlight in the color Sweet Glow. I just picked this up blouse in Florida. It's like this prettiest peachy, not peachy, it's kind of like pinky shade. Oh, it's so pretty and it's so amazing on the face. Um, and just putting it on all my normal places that I like to highlight, so like everywhere. And then picking up my MAC Strip Down Lip Liner, I'm just going to be lightly overlining my lips. And I'm using this shade because the, the lipstick that I'm using is going to be Yash by MAC. And it's just a little bit lighter than this and I thought the two of them worked absolutely perfectly together so I'm not gonna fill my lips in at all I'm only outlining them and then as I said taking Mac Yash liquid no not liquid lipstick just the lip just the lipstick and I'm just going to be filling them in with this and making sure I do blend it with the lip liner